Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at the Callisto protocol on the Steam Deck Steam OS. So this game was free uh, on the Epic Game Store uh, back then. Uh, I got it for free. Uh, it's not free anymore, but you know how Epic Game Stores give you free games every two weeks. So make sure you check check them out. I always uh, collect the free games. So my library is pretty big for the Epic Game Store actually. Um, and I wanted to show off this game on my Steam Deck because I installed it through Horic Games Launcher. And today I'm going to also show you how to add the FSR3 mod uh, on this game through Heroic Games Launcher because I think uh, most of my uh, guides to install the FSR3 mod is through the Steam library, the non-Steam version. Um, yeah, some people have been asking me how do you do it uh, for Heroic Games Launcher for Lutris. Okay, uh, okay, so you can see this game is sponsored by AMD. So it doesn't have built-in DLSS frame generation, which is a bummer. Okay, it does give you some uh, issues. Um, I'll talk about that later. And like, like I was saying, Lutris, uh, a lot of people use Lutris to install their non-Steam games. I'll also make a separate video showing you how to install these mods with Lutris. So today's video is all about installing the FSR3 mod with the Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, so when you like switch between um, like the native and uh, if you install the FSR3 mod, it has to compile the shaders again. So yeah, because I, I installed the mod already, but I removed it for this tutorial. So now let's just take a look at my settings. Okay, graphics. Okay, so general, uh, VSync off, frame rate unlimited direct X12. Okay, display, full screen borderless. Um, and then lighting, lighting quality low, shadow quality medium, full metric quality low, particle quality low, screen space disabled, physical refractions disabled, ray tracing off, ray trace shadows, ray trace refraction disabled. Okay, effects disabled, depth of field, motion blur. And then I enabled subsurface scattering, anti-aliasing is temporal AA, and then film grain off. Advanced, okay, upscaling, I'm using AMD FSR2, this is the built-in one, all right. And then quality mode performance, mesh quality medium, texture quality medium, texture filter quality also medium. And these are my settings. So no mod, this is no mod. All right, let me show you what it's like without the mod and then I'll show you how to install the mod and then we can take a look at it with the mod on. Okay. So I've played a little bit of it. It's actually a pretty good game. So we're getting like 30-ish to 60 frames. Uh, it does fluctuate. It does fluctuate. Yeah, so 30-ish frames here when there's a lot of things going on. Okay, so yeah, pretty violent, but um, yeah, let, let's quit out of this and we'll go back to my desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this mod. So see you back in desktop mode. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check them out using my link below. They offer games at cheap prices. And like the game that we're talking about today, the Callisto Protocol, it's actually on their website currently at 90% off. So it's only $6.32 right now. So go grab it if you're interested. Okay, it's in stock right now and it's all for all platforms. So they've got on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. And I'm also their official partner. So if you take a look at my dashboard. Okay, I'm their official instant gaming partner. I've been their partner since last month, September. And already, if you take a look at my partnership, already look at how many people have been purchasing games at discounted prices using my link. 
And full disclosure, I do get a kickback. So if you want to support me and you're going to buy the games anyway, you get a cheaper, no additional cost to you, but I do get a little kickback. And look at all these games people have been buying. Yeah, many, many. The list just goes on. So many games people have been buying from me. And also because I'm an official partner, Instant Gaming offers my viewers a giveaway every single month. So yeah, you can click on the link in the description. All right, so last month it was finished. Only how many people participated? 128 people participated. That was like the first month I was uh, officially a partner. So not many people. This month already there's 164 people are participating. Last month, Joshua won and he chose the God of War Ragnarok game on steam all right so when you win you get an email and you get to choose any game you want on their platform on any platform that's available okay so make sure you check out this uh giveaway page okay the next giveaway is in 16 days so even if you entered last month you have to enter it again every single month so make sure you click on the link and click participate all right and then if you like follow my my other links you get a higher chance to win all right so yeah that's all for now let's get back to the video Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to locate your game folder. And because I got this game on Epic Game Store for free, I installed it onto my Steam Deck with Heroic Games Launcher. So if you forgot where you, you know, installed the game, open up Heroic Games Launcher, select the game, click on the three dots here, and then click Change Install Path. Yes. And roughly we know where it is. So it's in my deck games folder, heroic folder, and then we've got a folder called the Callisto Protocol. All right, so I know where it is now. Open up the Dolphin File Manager, go to Home, and then it's in my Games directory. And then Heroic directory, the Callisto Protocol. Okay, and because this is an Unreal Engine 5 game, okay, inside there's another game folder called the Callisto Protocol. Go to Binaries, Win64, and here where you've got the Win64 shipping.exe, this is where we want to put all our mod files. Okay, so that's the first thing. You've got your game folder location, got it open. So minimize, minimize. And the second thing is you need to have the mod ready. The mod we're using today is Luke FC's FSR 3 mod. It's currently a paid mod. So uh, in order to download this mod, you need to join his Patreon, go to his uh, Discord server and then download the mod. All right, it's like, I think it's five to six bucks. I, I forgot how much it costs. Uh, but you can only, you not only need to pay once and then you can, uh, unsubscribe if you want but you won't get any future updates um and then like i've got my mods downloaded here so look fc mods and like the latest one is called uniscalar but i've tried it, it um it doesn't work um it, i got all the like it, it felt like it worked but the, the fps wasn't going up so i'm using the older version 10.4 0.10.4 this is the um, fsr2 fsr3 mod and because i know this game uses fsr2.1 so I'm going to use the 2.10 uh, version of the mod. Okay. And then oh, I need to go back to my game directory. So games. Heroic. Okay. So this is the way I need to install the mods. Okay. So first one, open up the common.zip. Common.zip. And I just need... The WinMMDLL and WinMMINI, drag it over. And we also need this optional NVNGX because we're on AMD. We need this folder. Okay, so that's what that's done. That's done. And then let's extract also this, the 210 zip. So we also need to extract this ASI file. Okay, that's done as well. Okay, and then here in the optional NVNGX, we need this NVNGX.dll. We need to, okay, so just copy it. Copy it, go back to Win64, and then just paste it here. All right, with all the other mod files. And also inside, there's a, a file called enable signature override.reg. Okay, copy this and paste it somewhere you can locate. Don't paste it in the game folder. Paste it somewhere, like I put, just put it on my desktop. So I'm just gonna paste it on my desktop. I already have it here, but yeah, I'm just override it. Um, and then that's all the mod files done. Okay, 
Now, go back to your Heroic Games Launcher and then click on uh, this like settings button. Okay, and then you've got th this popping up, the settings. Okay, um, and then uh, I think the first thing you want to do in the wine tab, okay, the wine tab, scroll down a bit and you've got here wine tricks. Click on it and then click open wine tricks GUI. Click this and it should pop up a GUI which is easier to use. Okay, uh, you might have this little error but it's okay, just click okay. Okay, so this is the wine tricks GUI. Okay, select the default wine prefix, click okay. And then here, click run reg edit. Okay. And then go to registry, input registry file. Okay, go to your desktop. So you remember how we, how we uh, move that enable signature override to our desktop. So yeah, it's right here. Enable signature override dot reg. Okay. Select it, open, and then the keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. Once you've got this, click okay. And then you can just quit out of this, close it, then cancel, cancel, and you can quit out of wine tricks. Okay, that's the first thing. And then go over to the advanced tab, okay? And then scroll down a bit. And here you can enter your variables. So remember how in our like mod files, we've got a file called winmm.dll. So by default, Linux, well, Proton doesn't know how to load this DLL. So you have to force it to load to enable the mod. So that's why here we need to type wine DLL overrides. Okay, like this, make sure it's exactly like this. And then here, just type win, win mm equals n comma b. All right. Once you've got this, just click on this plus button, and it's in here, and that's done. Okay. And that's basically it. Basically it. So we can go back to our uh, gaming mode to test out the FPS and everything. So let's do that now. Okay, return to gaming mode. So see you back in gaming mode. Okay, welcome back to my gaming mode. All right, so the game, like you just need to launch it and you should notice something different. Okay, so you've got this mod window popping up. So just wait for it to load. See that? That's the mod window. See that? Yeah, that's the mod window. And if you press the Steam button, you can see we've got two windows. So this is the mod window. Even though it says failed, should be fine. Okay, go back to the game. It should like maybe rebuild the shaders because I installed the mod. Maybe, not sure. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit. Yeah, it's got to compile the shaders. And if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. Okay. And once you're in here, uh, you have to make sure that in graphics, you... Go to advanced and FSR2 is enabled, right? That's that's a must. And also in effects, make sure anti-aliasing is temporal AA and film grain off. Okay, I think that's all you need. And let's continue. So if you remember, we were getting like 40-ish, 30, sometimes it jumps to a 60 frames uh, before the mod. So let's see uh, what we get now. Right, you can see like we're already getting like 80 90. So yeah, the mod is definitely on. The frame times are a little bit high too.
Yeah, so we're getting over 100 FPS now. Which is pretty crazy. Okay. So we do have a little UI flickering, you can see that, because this game doesn't have built-in um, DLSS frame generation. That's why we have that little um, UI flickering. Uh, that can't be helped right now. So yeah, a little side effect. Uh, but for the performance gain, it might be worth it because there's not a lot of UI in this game, apparently. I'm not sure if you like further on in the game, but right now it's only like some buttons. So yeah, that, that's how it is, guys. So I think it's a little bit too violent for YouTube. So yeah, let's stop it here. Uh, if you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe. Um, uh, yeah, and if you don't have issues, make sure you also leave a comment. Say, you know, something nice. Thank you. Um, we can engage in a little conversation and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.